So big up my girl Peggy Goo, right? Peggy Goo, big up the one and only Peggy Goo. Peggy Goo performed, and I'm not gonna lie, Peggy Goo absolutely killed it. Like, no cap. Like, she fucking smashed it. <laughs> Visuals were fucking fire. Um, her behind the booth, have like I've I've always said like say what you want about Peggy Goo, but one thing she does immensely well is that she's a professional. She does she she plays Starry Night like it's her fucking first time. She plays that na 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 tune like it's her first time. Like she's giving you a show. She's not boring. She's having a fucking blast. She's wearing color. She's smiling behind the fucking booth. Right, even if it is performative, at least she's having a fucking good time there and not looking dour and just staring down at the street at the fucking decks like most DJs do. But, but that being said, I found the inclusion of these what I would like to label, you know, LGBTQ plus community people on stage dancing to be kind of gross, kind of a uh, performative, kind of it, you know. It's almost feel like she was using these people to appear like she's an ally. And I'm not going to lie. Again, I'm not one to say who's an ally and who isn't. But I never even knew Peggy had this element in her music. Like, when was when has Peggy ever been for the gays? I don't know. Like, I've never ever... She, she went from being kind of unknown to being super successful and really big. But she was never somebody that really championed the LBGTQ plus community. I don't really remember that to be a thing. And now suddenly she's got these guys and gals, right, um, dancing on stage and like basically giving her legitimacy in that community when she's done nothing for it. And I can't figure out why. Maybe just that Nana Na song is very popular and the gays and the girls like it a lot. Fair enough. But I felt like this was incredibly exploitive. She, it's almost like she was exploit. Yeah, it, it feels like she was exploiting the LGBTQ community. But maybe I'm reading I'm reading too much into it. Maybe I missed that part where Peggy Goo was a big ally and she was performing at Hull. She was at Inferno. She was at all these big flipping LGBTQ plus friendly places and spaces. But she's never been that girl. She's always been booked and busy at the biggest raves, the most baitest ones, the most commercial ones, the ones that are attended by the most cisgendered males ever, right? And now here she is using gay people on stage to make herself look cool. It's like, bruh. What the fuck? This is like, this is like, do you remember back in the day when that like, Footlocker and JD Sports would have adverts? 
and they have adverts of like black people like spray painting and break dancing and shit. This is almost like that kind of thing. Like, yeah, we're urban, we're cool. It's like, come on, Peg. Come on, lady. But again, that aside, she killed it. She smashed it. But I don't like this performative type of stuff. And again, maybe it isn't performative. Maybe I missed a trick. Maybe I don't know that she's really about this life. Who knows? But I've never really seen this about herself. And now all of a sudden she's on stage with these dancers like she's in fucking Pasha. And I can't quite work out what the fuck is going on. I really can't work out what's going on. But maybe I missed a trick. Maybe I'm not really super plugged in. That's okay if that is true. That's okay if that is true. Big up Peggy Goo regardless. Big up Peggy Goo regardless.